What's up, Scorpios? Do your beautiful selves a favor and trust your intuition for guiding you to this reading all about what's going down for the full moon in Gemini. So this is covering December 7th through the 11th and full moon in Gemini energy is all about peak clarity, meaning clarity in terms of communication, clarity in terms of thought revelations, clarity in terms of ideas, a lot of clarity coming through because full moon energy is about clarity. It's shining a light, illuminating what's been hiding in the dark all month. So it's all about reveals and exposures and secrets. And Gemini energy is a sign of communication. It's also the sign of the twins, light and dark energy. So we're gonna see all that's coming to life. We might see different points of view coming out. Um, you might have kind of, you know, tiffs with other people, having different visions, points of views, but ultimately it's bringing us into greater clarity as a collective. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Only the clearest energy coming through for Scorpio for this clear moon energy. Full moon and Gemini energy, what is going on for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to see for the full moon and Gemini? What's the clarity for Scorpio? The Scorpio is watching this, the crystal clear energy they need to see for the full moon and Gemini. What do we need to read for them? What's the read for Scorpios for the full moon in Gemini? There we go. Love to see it slide into joy, river otter. All about fun, all about playful energy. This is follow your inner child energy. I don't know why I'm getting something with a rainbow. I'm hearing LGBTQ, so I don't know if that's something for someone. They could be, you guys could be diving more into that. I don't know why that's coming through like crazy, but I keep hearing that in my head. <laughs> so maybe there's gonna be like, I don't know, some type of winter pride fest or something something different you're going to be doing during this full moon in celebration of that possibly but i'm definitely getting a very playful fun energy having so much fun you know because fun is productivity fun is creativity it leads to more joy it leads to more blessings it leads to creative energy so there's definitely something here where yeah scorpio you're falling into not just joy, but almost like a creative energy. <clears throat> Give me more for Scorpio, what they need to see in addition to that. Tell me more about sliding into joy for Scorpio. Tell me more about sliding into joy for Scorpio. So we have fox energy, cunning, sly energy. Tell me more about the fox. One plus four breaks down to a five, which is all about change. We have fox in the heart. So I'm almost getting that following your joy is either going to lead you to a new person in a way, like a new romantic partner, or you're gonna become more one with the romantic partner that you already have. Because I feel like there's a sly energy creeping up on you. Scorpio. Yeah. Maybe it's when you leave your house too. I'm noticing the house in the background. I don't know if this person lives around you. Give me a little bit more about that for Scorpio. <clears throat> we have the mountain. Maybe they live on the other side of the mountain. So there's something that you have to overcome or cross. I almost feel like there's this energy that you have to cross away from home, Scorpio. I'm noticing this three, four, Six energy so we have 21 2 plus 1 breaks down to a 3 1 plus 4 breaks down to a 5 oh no we have 5 energy 1 2 3 4 5 technically if you take all these numbers into account there's something happening in divine succession Scorpio divine order divine timing that's almost like encouraging you I don't know if this is a travel energy I'm kind of getting a travel energy with the mountain too I kind of get movement with the mountain travel energy with the mountain there's something you have to overcome, meaning there's a challenge you have to face, something you have to move through. So I feel like maybe that's why Slide Into Joy is coming out. It's reminding you to be in joy when this time comes, when you have to kind of move through this obstacle. I feel like it's an obstacle in a way. I don't know, maybe it's mending a heart too with that heart energy coming through and that, that heart looks like it's been mended. It's not just like, you know, the purest heart in the world. It's a heart that's been through some shit. It's 
Tell me more for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to see? We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ooh, that could spell out a divorce or a breakup in a way because the Ten of Cups upright is a very happy family. So in reverse, Pisces energy. We have the Two of Swords, Libra energy in reverse. Yeah, this is a res uh, result, if I could talk, <clears throat> of something that happened because of a lack of clarity. It's almost like there's a divorce or a breakup or a happy family was missed out on because clarity wasn't a thing. Or someone was very wishy-washy with the way they were viewing something. We have the King of Wands who's focused, determined, very passionate. I feel like there's someone coming in for you, Scorpio. King of Wands is Leo energy. I'm sensing that there's someone coming in for you almost as a Hail Mary almost. After like a very, it's like you're like, why did I waste my time with that energy before? And I feel like focusing on you being in your own joyful energy is going to lead almost immediately into someone new or something new. So give me a little bit more for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to see? Awakening the dreamer. Okay, so maybe this trip, this movement, right? This mountain you're climbing has something to do with psilocybin. Who knows? I'm just noticing the mushrooms there. But there's definitely an energy in here with awakening the dreamer. This could also be through your sleep. You're going to be receiving messages. I feel like there's a lot going on in the ether, Scorpio. A lot that you're not seeing in the physical, but you're gonna be seeing with your third eye. It's almost like your third eye is open to it right now, but the way to get to whatever this revelation is that you're seeing is following your joy. I'm getting this download too for you guys that if you have something due in the morning and you're really not wanting to do it, right? You'd rather watch a movie, you'd rather smoke a blunt, you'd rather do almost anything than this chore that you have to do. Have fun, do the things that you want to do before doing this thing because there's a big energy in here about following your fun leading to the good times, leading to productivity. So give me a little bit more for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to see through the charms? Yeah, this is the frog coming out. So the frog is all about good luck, riveting into abundance, hopping into fortune. And that's on the two of swords in reverse. So fortune will follow you if you become a little bit more definitive. Fortune favors the bold Scorpio. I'm noticing, look at this. We have a ring here. So there's definitely some type of, it's almost like love wants to find you, Scorpio, but I feel like you have to go out and follow. It's like in order for someone to follow your heart and find your heart, you have to follow your heart. Following your heart is going to lead to joy, passion, everything you ever wanted, commitment. Let's see what else is coming out. So we have Uranus and Taurus in the ninth house. So Uranus is big change energy, major shifts and transformation, while Taurus is the house of value. So there could be something shifting in terms of your money, your materialism, your finances. This is also the house of like beauty and good looks. So maybe you're getting a glow up or something like a drastic glow up could even be plastic surgery. And then the, the ninth house, if I could actually talk, then the ninth house, uh, that's all about Sagittarius energy. It's all about shooting for the stars, going for the gold. There's definitely this energy in here about overcoming something. And for some of you, this is finances. For some of you, this is just like the way you've been living. But I, I sense a big change coming. Maybe some of you are moving. Either way, there's an energy that's moving and it's almost like you're going to find your joy once you follow your joy. You're going to find your heart once you follow your heart. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so, so much, Scorpio. And I'm sure I will talk to you again in another reading very soon.